Conducting a counterterrorism campaign in Afghanistan will be a major challenge. Uh, the Biden administration has said that it will conduct an over-the-horizon strategy to attack terrorists operating in Afghanistan. But it's going to be problematic for several reasons, which have been very different from what the U.S. has experienced in Somalia, Libya, Iraq, or any country where the U.S. has conducted very difficult counterterrorism campaigns. One is you need a local partner or ally. In this case, the U.S. doesn't have one. The Taliban is an enemy. It's not an ally. That's problem number one. Problem number two is that the U.S. does not have a base in either Afghanistan or the region in general. The Russians nixed the idea of bases in Central Asia. Pakistan doesn't want U.S. flying strike missions from its territory. So instead, the real U.S. options are flying from al Udeid Air Base and other bases in the Persian Gulf or off of maritime platforms in the Indian Ocean. And that's about a 14-hour round-trip flight. It doesn't give you a lot of loitering time. So that's a challenge. And then the third is the U.S. kind of took away most of its intelligence infrastructure, including its human intelligence sources on the ground in Afghanistan. So to sum up, the U.S. doesn't really have a partner. It doesn't have any bases nearby, and it doesn't have a lot of intelligence assets. Therefore, it's going to be very difficult unless it can change. It can get a partner on the ground, work with the, some of the old Northern Alliance crews. If it can get access to a base in the region, and if it can start to rebuild its intelligence architecture. Otherwise, it's going to be a real uphill battle. For more information, visit CSIS.org.